Moscow app the latest on Thursday at the World Cup, all times local, 10.10 p.m. Adnan Yanuzai has broken the deadlock when he curled a shot into far corner of Jordan Pickford's goal in the 51st minute to give Belgium a 1-0 lead over England in the World Cup Group G game. Yanuzai fainted right and then jinked to the left to wrong foot. England defended Annie Rose before sending a left foot shot over Pickford. The winner of Thursday's match at Kleinengrad Stadium will win Group G. Both sides are already qualified for the round of 16. Moments later in Sarax, Tunisia worked a nice team goal in the 51st to equalise at 1-1 against Panama. Naeem Sliti fed Wabi Kashri on the right side and he knocked it back. To the middle for fake red and Ben Youssef to finish with a one-timer. Underscore 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 9.50 p.m. What could have been an attacking spectacle between England and Belgium is instead a 0-0 stalemate between two of the World Cup's highest scoring teams. Both sets of fans good as referee Damir Skomina blew his whistle for half-time. Both coaches made sweeping changes to the starting lineups for the final Group G match at Kalinengrad Stadium. England had eight new faces and Belgium coach Roberto Martinez brought in nine new players. England striker Harry Kane, the tournament's leading scorer with five goals for Romelu. Lukaku, who has four goals for Belgium, were on the respective benches. Should the match end level Fury Thielmans and Leander Dendonka put Belgium further behind on the card count when they both went into the referee's book in the first half? Belgium took three yellow cards into the match while England had two. In the rare goal mouth action in the first half, Jordan Pickford saved a dipping, long-range shot by Thielmans in the sixth minute and Gary Cahill killed. Off the line four minutes late after Michi Batshuli poked the ball toward the corner of the net after a scramble in the goal mouth. Underscore 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 9.47 p.m. England and Belgium are drawing whistles and boos after a goalless first half in Kleinengrad, while Panama leads Tunisia 1-0 on the World Cup's record ninth own goal. Jose Rodriguez's left footed shot in the 33rd minute deflected off Yassine Meria and passed Tunisia keeper. Eamon Mathaudi to put the Panamanians ahead as they seek the first World Cup win. The previous tournament record for own goals was six. England and Belgium fielded reserve-filled squads knowing that both teams have already advanced. Underscore 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 8.25 p.m. Tunisia goalkeeper Eamon Mathaudi will be making his World Cup debut, and won't have any backup when he starts in his team's group play finale against Panama. FIFA denied a request by the Tunisians to add a goalkeeper after the team lost a second goalkeeper, Farouk Ben Mustafa, to injury since the start of the tournament. Ben Mustafa injured his near practice this week and Moez Hassan, who started Tunisia's opener, was lost for the tournament with a shoulder injury. Tunisia and Panama enter the game following two losses and already are out of contention. Yetich has expressed urgency to capture at least one victory before leaving Russia. Panama has never won a World Cup game and Tunisia's last victory at a World Cup came 40 years ago. Mathloud is one of four Tunisia players seeing the first action of the tournament. Coach Nabil Mayalol has also opted to give defender Zusama Hadi the end. Rami Bedwi and forward Gahail and Charleni an opportunity to play. Panama coach Hernan Gomez has selected two new starters who have yet to play in Russia, defenders Adolfo Machado and Luis Oval. Meanwhile, forward Gabriel Torres makes his first appearance in the starting lineup. After playing 28 minutes as a substitute in Panama's tournament opener. Lineups, Panama, Jamie Pendo, Fidel Escobar, Roman Torres, Adolfo Machado, Luis Oval, Gabriel. Gomez, Edgar Barcenas, Ricardo Avila, Anibal Godoy, Jose Rodriguez, Gabriel Torres. Tunisia, Ayman Mathaudi, Yassine Meria, Usama Haddadi, Rami Bedwi, Hamdi Naguez, Ferjani Sassi. El Iskiri, Fake Red and Ben Youssef, Wabi Kasri, Gahail and Charlali, Naeem Sliti. Underscore 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 8, 15 p.m. The tactical jockeying for positions in the World Cup knockout stage is underway before kick-off with 17 lineup changes across both teams in the Group G decider between England and Belgium. 
Harry Kane and Romelu Lukaku's ambitions for the World Cup Golden Boot will have to wait. England coach Gareth Southgate made eight changes to the lineup that thrashed Panama 6 1 in its last match in Russia. Belgium coach Roberto Martinez went one better with nine changes to the lineup that beat Tunisia 5 2. For England, Danny Rose, Eric Dier, Jamie Vardy, Gary Cahill, Phil Jones, Fabian Delph, Marcus Rashford and 19-year-old Liverpool defender Trent Alexander-Arnold have been recalled to start. Only goalkeeper Jordan Pickford, defender John Stones and midfielder Ruben Loftus-Cheek keep the places for England. Martinez also has kept Belgium's first-choice goalkeeper, saying continuity is important in the position, and also retains centre-back Dedrick Boerter. Midfield playmaker Eden Hazard starts on the bench, while his brother Thorgan gets a start. Lukaku, who is recovering from a leg muscle injury, is on the bench. The Group G winner plays Japan, which advanced as the no. Two team in Group H instead of Senegal thanks to its superior disciplinary record. The Group G runner-up faces Group H winner Colombia in the round of 16. Lineups England, Jordan Pickford, Danny Rose, Kieran Deer, John Stones, Jamie Vardy, Gary Kehill, Bill Jones, Fabian Dulf, Marcus Rashford, Ruben Loftus Chief, Trent Alexander Arnold, Belgium, Thibaut Courtois, Thomas Hamalan, Marwan Fellaini, Thorgan Hazard, Yuri Thielmans, Adnan, Yanuzai, Moussa Dembele, Dedrick Boata, Mishi Batshuli, Nasa Chadli, Leander Dendonka. Underscore 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 7.20 p.m. Brazil's team doctor says Marcelo's back injury may have been caused by a soft mattress. Dr. Rodrigo Lasmar said after the team's 2-0 win over Serbia that the back spasm that prompted Marcelo to leave the match early in the first half may have been sparked by the type of mattress being used by the defender at the team's hotel. Lasmar made the comment while dismissing rumors that the problem might have been related to excessive physical training by the team in Russia. The Brazilian Federation says Marcelo is recovering well from the injury but it remains unclear if he will be available for the team's round of 16 match against Mexico on Monday. It says Marcelo is undergoing treatment and showed good improvement, but it did not give a timetable for his recovery. Marcelo had to be replaced 10 minutes into the game in Moscow. Underscore 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 7 p.m. Colombia is moving on in the World Cup and Senegal is out, the first team to get eliminated on a new tiebreaker that punishes squads each time the players pick up yellow or red cards. Yeri Mina scored on a header in the 74th minute to give Colombia a 1-0 win over the Senegalese and vault the South Americans from going home to winning the group. Pan beat out Senegal from the second spot despite its 1-0. Lost because it accumulated four yellow cards to Senegal's six. It's the first time since 1982 that no African team has qualified for the knockout stage. Colombia and Japan go on to play opponents from Group G, either England or Belgium. Those teams play later Thursday for the top spot in the group. Underscore 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 6.54 p.m. Japan has squeaked in the knockout stage at the World Cup by the narrowest of margins after losing 1-0 to Poland in its last group match. Jan Bednarik got the solitary goal of the match in the 59th minute when he beat his marker at the far post to volley in a swelling free kick from Rafael Kurzawa. Japan couldn't afford to concede another goal and hung on long enough while Colombia itched. Senegal 1-0 in the other Group H match taking place at the same time. Colombia topped the group with 6 points. Japan and Senegal had the same amount of points, goal difference and goals scored. Japan progresses because it got fewer yellow cards than Senegal. Japan fans in Volgograd cheered despite the loss after confirmation the team reached the knockout stage from the third time. Poland was already out of contention, underscore 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 6.53 p.m. Colombia and Japan have advanced to the knockout stage of the World Cup after a tense finish to Group H. Japan squeezed through despite a 1-0 loss to Poland because of its disciplinary record when Colombia beat Senegal 1-0 to top the group. Colombia finished with 6 points. Japan and Senegal finished on four points and scored and conceded the same number of goals. 
the next tiebreaker went in Japan's favor because it had four yellow cards in the tournament and Senegal had six. Ola, which was already out of contention, picked up its first win of the tournament. Underscore 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 6.42 p.m. Colombia has seized control of its World Cup group by scoring with just minutes remaining in Group H's simultaneous matches, and Japan is set to edge Senegal from the second spot on a tiebreaker. Yerimina scored on a header off a corner kick and Colombia took a 1-0 lead in the final group match against Senegal, Mina leapt above a pair of Senegalese defenders to aim the ball. Past Senegal goalkeeper Kadamin die in the 74th minute Oan Pintero got the assist, it was Mina's second goal of the tournament and it put the enthusiastic Colombian fans at Samara Stadium in a frenzy. Japan trails Poland 1-0 in the simultaneous match. The scores hold that Senegal would be out of the World Cup because it has picked up more yellow cards than Japan. Underscore 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 5.54 p.m. Colombia has 45 minutes to shoot its way into the World Cup's knockout stage, and it will have to do it without James Rodriguez. The star midfielder was subbed out just 31 minutes into his squad's final group match in Samara against Senegal, which is tied 0-0 to -0 at the half. Teammate Radamel Falcao patted him on the back as Rodriguez walked slowly off the pitch with his head bowed and headed straight for the locker room. Luis Muriel replaced him. Rodriguez has been dealing with a nagging calf injury and soreness that kept him from starting Colombia's tournament opening loss to Japan. He had two assists in Colombia's 3-0 victory over Poland on Sunday. He has six goals and four assists in eight World Cup appearances. Colombia needs at least a point to advance to the round of 16. Senegal will make it through with a draw regardless of the result. The simultaneous match between Japan and already eliminated Poland in Volgograd. Underscore 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 5.49 p.m. Japan and Poland are locked 0-0 at halftime in the last World Cup group match. Japan created most of the chances during the half with Yoshinori Muto central to most of its team's attacking forays. Muto was one of six changes to the starting lineup for the match. Japan needs a point in Volgograd to ensure it advances regardless of the result in the Senegal vs. Colombia game being played simultaneously in Samara. Poland, though, came closest to taking the lead when in the 32nd minute goalkeeper Eiji Kaushima did well to keep a well-guided header from Kamal Grosetsky out. Scampering across his goal before diving, Kaushima clawed the ball to safety just before it had crossed the line. Poland is already out of the tournament having lost its two previous Group H matches against Senegal and Colombia. Underscore 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 5.48 p.m. Japan and Senegal are on track to advance to the World Cup's knockout stage and Colombia is set to go home after scoreless first halves of the final matches in Group H. Poland and Japan are 0-0 in Volgograd and Senegal and Colombia have put up the same score so far in Samara. Japan and Senegal have four points apiece and will make it to the next round with a draw. Colombia trails with three points and will need at least a tie to keep playing. Underscore 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 5.30 p.m. Senegal has been denied a first half penalty kick against Colombia that the referee awarded but officials overturned after video review. Referee Milorad Mazik of Serbia pointed to the penalty spot after defender Davinson Sanchez tackled Senegal's Sadio Mane.